Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. My name is Darren. I'm Graham. And we have seen the film X Men Apocalypse. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? What, do you forget what X Men Apocalypse Easily. was? Easily. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Tell us whatever, tell everyone what it's about. Oh. Uh, okay, so in X Men Apocalypse, basically. Uh... Oh yeah, so uh, an old guy, uh, Oscar, played by Oscar Isaac's Apocalypse, Oscar Isaac on Sebenu, whatever yeah. way they pronounce it, plays the man called Apocalypse, and uh, basically he wants to transfer. Uh, it's getting too deep in it. All right, so basically he wants he to destroy in, the world. Yeah, he lives in Egypt, and he comes out in the eighties, well, is it? Seventies. Egypt. Egypt isn't a pl- time. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he lives in the Egypt, <laughs> and he and he becomes awake again in eighties or seventies. No, it's 70s? the eighties. The eighties now. Yeah. Um, uh, he doesn't like it, not one bit. Well, who can blame him? So he basically just wants to tear it all up and start again, which is well, not no. really fair for him to do, I don't think. Oh, He's been yeah. asleep for so yeah. long. I mean, he learns from watching telly, which is what we all yeah, do. Yeah, he didn't like the Rubik's Cube, did he? <laughs> yeah, that no, he wasn't a fan. Yeah, yeah. It was the missiles and all that stuff. He was watching that and then he saw a Rubik's Cube and was like, the week must die. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've, yeah, we've come so far through technology. We've came up with this I know. Yeah, we can't cube. solve this colourful cube. Maybe he thought it was like um, the other cube from the other films. That Which one? Transformers in... or Avengers? Probably Avengers, isn't it? The Cosmic the Co- Cube. Is that the Transformers one? Or is yeah. It... All Spark is the what Tesseract. you're thinking of in the... Te- well... Tesseract's the actual mathematical name for a full what dimensional they call it, square. Though. But yes, thank you. What? Hmm? Um, did I just... Oh, okay. Did you what? Nothing. Did you know what a Tesseract was? Yeah. I hope so. Of course I did. It's a blue cube that, falls, <laughs> that, that makes... That Red Skull wants... A Red Skull wants it. He wants Loki it. wants it. Everyone Loki wants it. Loki has it, dickhead. <laughs> now who's the dickhead? <laughs> oh, geeked. Um, uh, uh, what are we talking so about? Anyway, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so he wakes so he up in the 80s. Out. Yeah, yeah, he's not happy, is he? Professor X so has got a school. Yeah, for yeah, some reason. Yeah, Professor X has got... Well, he's he always got... has them, doesn't he? That's, yeah, that's not an ex- that's not explanation, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Why does he do it? Well, to quote Woody <laughs> Allen, because Woody Allen's quoted in everything, uh, a tradition is the illusion of permanence. <laughs> yeah. So to say, why has he really got Because he's always had them. Is it really, really just because he likes to have them? Yeah, he's done exactly. it before. Yeah. Didn't work last time, did it? No, it didn't. didn't um, uh, no spoilers, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Apocalypse kills all the X-Men. <laughs> yeah, that's, and the that's credits the franchise roll. is over, that's it. That's um, the end. Yeah. Well, you know, to be fair, that kind of thing's happened before. You know, X-Men 3 got rewound and, and redone. Yeah, but they left some characters alive to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank God. Um, <laughs> so, what was your point? Oh, you were I didn't talking make a about... point. What did you think of this film? Yeah, it was okay. It was good. It was uh, it was in between <laughs> average and really good. Mm-hmm. So it was just good. Do you remember thought... the other day when you said uh, you were having a bit of a breakdown and you said I've added up to here and I said it's a good job you've got a big forehead then because that's another few months of stress. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for that. Um, that was a happy memory for me. I, 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 because I was really pouring my heart out to him. You know what I mean. I was just well, explaining. What am I going to do? I don't know anything about life. So it's either give him duff advice or make a joke. Or make a joke. So I made head. a joke. The shape of his head. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a big head. It's um, only oh, anyway. Come on now. Come on now. Um, come on now. I wrote a blog about this film, in which I explained the difference between, well, to a degree, objective and subjective re- yeah. viewings of films. And objectively, I can see this film for all its faults and how rubbish it probably is. But oh. subjectively, I really did quite like it. And maybe as time goes by, I'll come back to it and think, oh, no, it was a bit rubbish. But right now, having just and seen it once... we're all waiting with bated breath to find out. <laughs> I didn't say you were. <laughs> I'm just, you know, saying my thoughts. <laughs> this is my secret thoughts. <laughs> uh, so, do yeah. continue, do continue. So, I, as a fan, yeah, as a and film... I don't say this as a fan... I don't speak on behalf of all fans of the X-Men, just myself. I really liked it because it gave me big... everything. But you are a big fan of the X-Men. Yeah, but I'm sure there's bigger fans that can contradict me for some reason or another, but I just really enjoyed it. What could, I mean, I can see it's not the best film, but it had enough moments in it that I liked. See, though, I agree with that. I mean, do you, did you enjoy the um, Magneto backstory? Well, what, the Auschwitz thing that we've yeah. heard a million times? No, 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 the no, family. no the, the family, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was obviously obvious. <laughs> Magneto's got a family. I, I wonder know, yeah. what's going to happen to them. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see how they progress at the end of the film. I know, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see him still living happily in two hours. <laughs> yeah. So that, that kind but of I thought thing that scene annoy. was really good. It was, the scene itself was really good, but shoehorning in a new family for them. You don't even learn the mum's sh- name. Don't you? No. Mrs. Magneto. Well... Obviously, and I pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Magneto. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even need the best man. He was doing the weight with the rings himself. Just, <laughs> just floating down the hall. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so... Mm-hmm. Mm. She she did think she had the coil. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they had a kid. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, 
Ugh. So yeah, so and I really, so I really like that scene. I really like. <laughs> what else? Just way too it? flippant. <laughs> don't just throw that word out there. <laughs> I, I don't know how I can be pregnant, Magneto. <laughs> I don't know either. Well, I... Float burners back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oops. for six years. <laughs> yeah. Horrible, the kid is. Um, yeah, no, I like that. Mm. I liked the Nightcrawler versus Angel in the thing that reminded me of the Wolverine fight in the first movie, in The Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, uh, I think that was on purpose, wasn't it? Like a little terrible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, the thing I wanted to talk about. Is the and I mentioned this in the blog. A different film. No, well, no, it's this film. Do you know the bit in this movie where Cyclops runs to the toilet and you know that's when he gets oh, his yeah, powers? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. scene was originally going to be in X Men one point five. All right. Because they did X Men one, and in mm. between filming X Men one and X Men two, Brian Singh was like, maybe we could put that like Cyclops scene in the recut version of the first movie, and so they went so far as to make the bathroom to do it in. But it never got made for presumably budgetary reasons. And so that bathroom that had been made became the bathroom that wow. uh, the security guard got the injection in the arse for. In, uh, I like that. Yeah, next yeah. one too. So obviously this is an idea Brian Singer's had floating around his head for, well, what is it, 12 years since X-Men 2? Something like that. So I quite like that. So it's quite nice for me to... So in terms of why I like this movie, I got to see a scene that yeah. I heard about. Uh, also, I remember when First Class came out, they were going to do a psychic battle, presumably between Professor X and uh, the Diamond Lady, whatever name is the... whose name I've temporarily forgotten. And she was in Wolverine Origins as well, even though that makes no sense. I know. I'm yeah. just watching you struggle. Okay, her. Um, but they didn't because Inception came out at the same time and involved that scene with Joseph Gordon-Levitt in the corridor. So they didn't do that, and there's a psychic battle in this, and I haven't read that's what it was from, but I can only assume that they must have drawn some inspiration from the original plans from First Class. Well, yeah, well, when they, like, kind of... When they kind of, like... Yeah, yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-huh. So, yes, cool. there was... I can see that as a whole, this film is probably rubbish, and it does, is in no way as good as Days of Future Past or no X-Men or X-Men Days 2. Days of Future Past is am- it's really amazing. It is. I really love that film. I do. Uh, this film not so much, but that film was excellent. Did you like? Uh, did you like the, the the psychic battle? Yeah, I did. Did yeah. you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah especially the way it. it concluded. I almost cried. All right, really. I can't say why though. It's kind of a spoiler. It's interesting. I'll say the flamey bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure you can work out why <laughs> yeah. it it hit me in emotions. Yeah. yeah. If, if you if you yeah. If yeah. you if you hated X Men three as much as I did, then this this offers quite a lot of hope that we might get to see it done properly. Oh. Um, You've been getting a bit emotional now, are you? No. Oh. Um, <laughs> obviously, I liked Quicksilver's scene. Obviously? You could criticise this as basically being the same joke as Days of Future Past on crack. That's a pretty good joke. So, you know, more of that with Eurythmics. I'll have that. Why is that funny? Why is on that? On crack. Why is the crack bit funny? Is I didn't say bit? the crack bit was funny. I just meant that because it's more. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like the it's like the scene from the previous yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. but more so. They just did it more. Yeah, more. Yeah, there was a flippant. I wasn't crack. Is just I could have said anything. Steroids that would probably oh. work better. It would have because it's drug related at least. Well, so it must be drug related. That's the whole point. It's made things bigger. Steroids. I mean, sorry, I was... except dicks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so did yeah. Oh, and Apocalypse is rubbish. Do you think? Is yeah, it, is, it, is it another just a dull blue guy that whispered? Enemy. There's, yeah. a, there's a few of them in the. Marvel Not, world, well, it? in the Mar- in the MCU, yeah, but in the X Men world, they've used Magneto. Mm. Brian Cox was good. Uh, who was the baddie in X Men Three? Who even remembers X Men Three? Well, it was obviously Dark Phoenix, wasn't it? Well, I guess it was Magneto again then, because he was the one she was with. Sort of, but yeah, yeah. I didn't see Dark Phoenix in well, that movie. Point... I just saw yeah, Pam Janssen doing something. Yeah, I'm not the, just arguing with you again. The, the point is, though, in, in that film, she is. You say it was Magneto. Are we arguing stuff? with X Men Three? But even he lost control of Dark Phoenix in the end, so it was truly. Truly, Dark Phoenix. Did he? Yes. Even what did she do what against him? On? That's why he says it. Well, I think he just realised. I lost, thought he'd. Yeah, he's lost control. I think he'd realised he was an X Men three. Um, yeah, I mean, Kevin Bacon was pretty good in X Men First Class. That film should just be struck from X Men First Class. Yes, but you rubbish. like X Men three. X Men First Class isn't rubbish. It's rubbish. Oh, fucking idiot! Um, what did you like about <laughs> this movie? Didn't like X Men First Class. Um, mm, sorry, I should have let you watch X Men three, shouldn't I? Yeah. Mm. Yes, please. It's mm. got that guy throwing oh, fuck off, little fuck off. I'm not having this. Honestly, we talk about so many that's of the amazing. same things that. all the time. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, we talk about that. Film. Fifth Element. Uh, uh, that's not an invitation yeah. to talk about Fifth oh, Element. Yeah. Well, speaking of the like mediocre Egypt movie, stuff like that. What are you talking about? Speaking of which, you yeah. need a like, reality like check. Fifth Element. This you film is massively derivative of um, Roland Emmerich's. Have a word with yourself. Stargate. And realize what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. Because that's why I said it. Because you're wrong. 
<laughs> um, you are so wrong. Anyway, did you know what the thing? Uh, <laughs> spoilers from now on. Spoiler alert. Did you know what the clip at the end of the credits was? Uh, no, I was going to ask you about that actually because it's just a briefcase. Briefcase one. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a briefcase being used assume... to collect uh, DNA of mutants. Uh, uh, really? Well, what did I you don't think know it that... was doing? Oh no, no idea. I thought it was like. Uh... I assumed it was going to be like Doctor Strange or something like oh, that. Oh, you kind of close. I think Marvel was running out of names. Oh, right. Okay. It's not Doctor Strange, it's Mr. Sinister. Oh, right. Okay. 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 So that's what that was. So what? what uh, yeah, okay. Where's that going? Uh, he makes a clone army out of mutants he's cloned. That presumably. sounds like a great film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. A, cl I'm a clone army of, of evil evil versions of m mutants. That's exactly what I said. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. That sounds okay. good. Well, let's oh, hope I they like make it then. I like the idea of clones in, <laughs> okay. in general. I just like that idea. Mm -hmm. Good. It's a good um, idea. So, bye. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. We got anything else to say? Mm. Read the blog. I go into more detail. And don't watch the film. What apocalypse? Don't watch apocalypse. Don't you watch... said you didn't like it. No, I said I did like it because of me. You didn't like I, uh, who I am as a person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your own fault that you like it so. Yeah. Um, okay. I like it against my better judgment. Yes. Which is kind of what I feel about you as well. Just compliment there somewhere. Bye.